I'm already crying. Um, <clears throat> I'll try to get through it without crying anymore. Uh, I'm so humbled. Uh, <laughs> that's right, I usually have my teammates up here with me. Uh, I'm so humbled to be up here tonight, especially with this great class of inductees. Brian, Brian, Jamie, and Dustin, what an honor it is for me to be out inducted with you all and Joe Britannia for being awarded the Lester Patrick. Congratulations to all of you. It is amazing to be in your company. Hockey has given me so much. It helped me get into college at Brown University. First paragraph. Uh, where, <laughs> where I had some of the best times of my life. It has given me a, uh, my career and an opportunity of a lifetime to coach at Boston College. It has helped me meet tons of amazing people, travel so, to so many places that I wouldn't have otherwise gone, and for all that, I'm truly grateful. I have countless people to thank along the way. But I did tell Brian that he could take a few of my minutes too, so just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> my Boston College family. Tom Peters, you helped me start this incredible journey coaching in college. You took a chance on a young coach and gave me the confidence that I was ready for the role. John Haggerty, you've carried on the confidence in me and I'm fortunate to have you as an administrator. Courtney Kennedy, first and foremost. Oh God, jeez. Uh, a teammate and a friend. You challenge me to be better every day and genuinely one of the best coaches I've ever, ever been around. BC is lucky to have you and so am I. Our staff at BC, Kate, Aaron, Russ, Emma, you guys work so hard day in and day out for our team. You put the team first, you sacrifice a lot. Thank you for all you do. We're also very lucky to be so close with our men's staff and program. Uh, Jerry, Brownie, and all of their staffs. I know Cavs here too, uh, who we've been great partners to work with through all of my years at Boston College. And Blake James, who also is here tonight, thank you for believing in me and our team. We are so appreciative of your support. The former players and current players that I have coached at BC, I didn't know you guys were gonna be here. I saw you coming up in that escalator and you shocked me. Uh, you, have made, uh, you have made my job easier. You have made such a positive impact on my life and I am grateful for that. You have put in the work to help grow our program, and I am incredibly lucky to be a small part of the journey for each and every one of you. My coaches in the sports that I played growing up have helped shape who I am as an athlete and a coach. They helped me grow and learn to be a good teammate, to be a competitive player, and to help our team win in whatever way I can. I can't, I can't name them all, but a special shout out to uh, my softball coach in high school, Harold Sachs, who helped me learn that no single player is above another and that it takes a group, of wor group working together and sacrificing self to win and be successful. Thank you, Digit Murphy, my college coach, who taught me that fighting for what is right is hard, but it is more than worth it. And thank you to Coach Smith, who believed in me, helped me be a better player, and continues to help me be a better coach. He also chose me to be one of the members of the greatest team I've ever been a part of, Team USA. Thank you for that. <laughs> God, this, this one's gonna be tough. Uh, the, my teammates. The teammates I have had are some of the greatest gifts of my life. Despite my stiff arm to coiner, in the celebration of a win in overtime versus Canada in San Jose. I hope this finally clears the air and maybe we never see that video again. Although I have to tell you, I did show my team. Uh, we were working on celebrations when we score goals. <laughs> um, I have been so lucky to have teammates that support me, care about me, and make me laugh. Many of them are still my best friends. I have learned from them, grown because of them, and because of be become a better person because of them. I am up here because they believed in me and trusted in me. 
Thank you to my teammates from youth, youth hockey to college to Team USA with a special shout out to my 98 teammates. I love you guys like family. We have so many ama amazing memories, too many to recite here, but except for maybe the laundry one. I wasn't gonna put that in there. Uh, but plenty to continue to have reunions and talk about them. We have a great bond, the, what a great bond we have, and I can't wait to celebrate more anniversaries in the years to come with all of you. I wanna thank my family, as I wouldn't be up here without them. As a little kid, I followed my big brother around. Trying to do everything that he did. He played baseball, I played baseball. He played hockey, I played hockey. But little did I know, following my brother around at four years old uh, would lead me up uh, to end up up here. Uh, he was the one I looked up to and wanted to be like. And I had to keep up or I would get kicked out of the street hockey games in the neighborhood. <laughs> so I guess that's where I get my competitive edge. Uh, still one of the greatest moments I had as a hockey player is being pulled up for the in from instructional, uh, similar to learn to play, uh, to my brother's might team. I didn't touch, touch the puck, but it was, a, it was great to be part of my brother's team. Uh, my mom and dad, would drive us around to uh, different rinks all over and we loved it. They made every effort to be at as many games as they could, no matter what uh, that took. They believed in me from the beginning, continuing to give me and my brother every opportunity that they could throughout our life. Sports, especially hockey, gosh, brought us together as a family. My dad would be over the moon. <sighs> that I'm up here today. I wish he was here to see it. From when we were kids, my mom has always been one of the, thank you, <laughs> teammate. <laughs> Uh, has been the one who instilled confidence in us and helped us understand that with hard work we can do anything we set our minds to. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for all the sacrifices you made for us over the years. <laughs> to become who we are today, I can't ever thank you enough. My husband and daughter, you both mean the world to me and have loved and supported me through this coaching journey. You have given up a lot for me to do my job, and I wouldn't be able to continue to do this without you both by my side. I love you both. Cam, we love watching you do all the things you do from singing and dancing. <laughs> Emily, Emily and Erica, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, and pl uh, to playing sports and, and, and loving the game of hockey that gave both me and your dad so much, so much. I know you'll continue to reach for the stars and you always make us proud. As a 14 or 15 year old at USA hockey camps, I remember being in awe of the US women's national team. That was the first time we, uh, I think I saw them play in, uh, live. <clears throat> However, at that time my idol was Cam Neely who was the left wing for the Boston Bruins. I wanted to play like him and be in the NHL just like him. What makes me so proud about our generation's journey in this sport is that now my daughter, who is a junior eagle, uh, U10, and a Needham squirt, uh, has females to look up to, from Team USA to the newly formed PWHL. She can look up to players like Megan Keller and Alex Carpenter. She can watch them on TV. She can go to their games. And fortunately, with my job, she can even call them friends. Quite honestly, she thinks Megan Keller and Haley Scroop are, are her besties. I hope our sport continues to grow. People see how great it is and it continues to get the rec recognition that it deserves. Thank you, USA Hockey, Pat Kelleher, Dave Fisher for putting this event on, and thank you to the selection committee. 
I am truly honored to be inducted into the USA Class uh, Hockey Hall of Fame. Thank you.